If you receive a job offer for one of the designated employers participating in this GHB, Global Hyper Growth Project, you are eligible to apply for an employer-specific work permit under the Innovation Stream. Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Sandy back again on your screen. How are you guys doing? So in today's video, I brought to you guys an another great opportunity for those of you that want to migrate to Canada with work visa. So many of you guys recently has been on my DM that I want to apply for visitor visa and uh, because of this new law, the changes and they couldn't be able to do it. And okay, they need a work visa pathway. So guys, and this is me here sharing with you this amazing opportunity that will enable you to come to Canada with a work visa. See, this is an LMIA exempt job. The designated employer is already listed on this pathway and they will give you an employer exempt letter. That means that it's not an LMIA job. You don't need to go all the stress of getting an LMIA or your employer. The only thing is that if you're eligible, your employer will give you an, an employer number for you to apply your work visa apply for your spouse open work visa and your children see guys if this kind of video you love watching guys please kindly stay tuned keep watching i will see you right back so this pathway is called innovation stream employer specific work permit and it's basically for those in it field and other sector work permit processing fee is just 155 dollars this is what you can be able to do guys they said if you receive a job offer from one of the employer participating in this GHP, you are eligible to apply for an employer specific work permit under the innovation stream. So the session is talking about these stations are about this work permits, who can apply and how to apply. So I'm going to guide you on this process to show you how this pathway entails. So coming over here, this is a, about the work permit. Uh, if you receive a job offer in the high skilled occupation, so this is basically for high skilled workers from one of the employer that is participating in this project you are eligible to apply for an work permit under the innovation stream an employer specific work permit lets you to work in canada according to the condition on your work permit such as the name on the specific employer how long you can work and the location where you can work if applicable okay so that's what this thing means by before you submit your work permit application, your employer must submit an offer of payment, pay a 230 employer compliance fee, and give this offer of employment number is what you will use to get your LMIA exempt letter so that your visa will be faster, okay? Faster processing, you may be eligible for faster processing if your occupation is classified under the training, education, experience, and responsibility, like tiers, category zero, or one of the NOC system in Canada, okay? You know that all the jobs in Canada are listed according to the NOC. So let's see who can apply for this. Let's see who is eligible. Let's see whether you can apply for this pathway. The side here to be eligible to apply for a work permit under this innovation stream, you must have a valid job offer from one of the designated employers. So, like I said, this pathway, they already map out eight designated employers already in this global hyper growth project. There are already eight of them already. So, if you get an, a job offer from this employer, I'm going to show you guys there. Don't worry, we are going to come back on it. You are eligible to apply. Then you need to have a job offer in a high skilled occupation, okay? Job offer, yeah, I'll show you the jobs. This includes job in the NOC category. If you require education and experience listed in the employment requirement section, let's say, okay, you are education, maybe you study data analyst, make sure that your education match to the NOC that you are applying, okay? So if you plan to work for an employer not participating in the global hyper growth GHP, okay, as mean that you are not uh, applying for an employer that is not listed in the list, then they said if you are a foreign worker but you don't meet the condition above, you may be eligible for a different types of work permits. Yeah, this is good. Bringing your family. This is the sweetest part of it. Like any rat that will not allow me to come with my family. Oh my God, I'm not putting my head there because migrating to another country you know having your family around is some stress 
eat some burden for you. So they said, your spouse or common law partner and dependent children are eligible for an open work permit as a family members of a high school. Of course, if you are coming to work under this innovation stream, you are eligible to get your spouse or your common law partner. If you know common law partner, you just maybe your fiancé or something. Yeah, in Canada, you can actually bring your fiancé with you or your children to come and have a high quality education over here. See guys, if you are coming with work permit, all those benefits that most of the, most of those that have a permanent resident, you are going to get it, okay? Then, yeah, so yeah, you are going to get it, okay? So guys, let's check how to apply for this innovation, okay? Please stay tuned. You need to know how to apply for this part. So when you click on how to apply, it will bring you to this, page get your document checklist you must answer some of the questions to create a personalized document checklist answer the question in the two exactly as shown based on when you are applying from inside or outside canada step two get your document ready you need to gather the right supporting document use the supporting document checklist listed in the application instruction you got from the completing step one above if you are applying from inside Canada, like for example, you are in Canada applying, you need to let them know. They say that you need to upload a blank document in the invitation letter. Then please let your employer know you are applying from inside Canada. Then if you are applying from outside Canada you, and you don't have an, an invitation letter, fill in the application. Okay, so step three say check if you need a medical exam. Of course, if you are migrating to a new country, you need a medical checkup. Your employer will send you the list of vaccine you need to take. Then step four, say apply for a work visa. So this is a, after you must have gotten your job offer from an employer, then you have to come back and uh, use this four list to apply, okay? So now we have to go back to view all the employer, the designated employer in the global hyper growth project. So let's click on the employers and see what they have for us today. This is the, the employers, they said, Meet the game changers, meet the first select group of Canadian firms. GHP will support their journey from being major players to becoming global powerhouses. After a round of nomination and all call for application, this group was selected to impute from a private sector selection panel. This company will receive dedication, specialized support from the government of Canada to take their growth to the next level. See guys. These are the eight companies. Please do well to check out all of them. We have Ada, we have Alaya Care, we have Cellstar, Clarios, Clio, DBG, Lightspeed, and Velva. So these are the disconnected employer. At least one or two here must surely answer. Please now click on Alaya Care to see what they have for us. Uh, this Alaya Care is more like AI that uh, delivered care to home care. It's like Power home based care provider would get uh would get to deliver more. They deals on helping the healthcare workers like uh, hospitals, care home, home health to deliver care. Okay, so when you just click on the website, just go through them and read about them, explore solutions for home care, home health, and infection. Okay, so just read about them. If you have ever worked in a hospital before. Please, guys, go through the website and see what they have. So when you come into the website, the only thing you have to do is just to, after reading about them, then go all the way down, all the way down. Because right now, we want to check their career page, where they are posting their opening. So all the way down, you go, you see the place, the road platform, who we serve, the resources, and about, okay, under the about column. Go down, you see career. Okay, hiring now. Currently, they are hiring, guys. Just click on that. We just want to see the job opening they are listing. Okay, so if you click on that, another page will open. Are you ready to do your best work for your career? View open position. So, on that button is highlighted. Just click on that. Then, another page will pop out. Then, this is where you see the current job openings, account management. And they have it in different uh, province and country that like they have in Australia, they have in Toronto, Canada. So they also have a uh, customer experience. They have engineering, they have finance, 
they have marketing they have uh, technical services so anyone you think that you fall in any noc maybe you have a qualification you have the degree you have the diploma anywhere you think you can be able to do please make sure you click on the department you want and office so they have even in australia if you want to migrate to australia you can also use this they have in canada like they have in Montre montreal they have in toronto they have in quebec this one they also have a uh, marketing yeah the marketing department account management customer service professional service consultant they also have in united states okay yeah this are the job they have in australia too just go through it guys do not sleep on it anything you think you can be able to like think you fall in this the same category please do well to apply for this job okay yeah these are engineering senior develop analysts or oh, all these data analysts yeah apply your job is here finance department is here engineering and in different sector like i said it in different country different province united states is here australia is here canada is here okay yeah so right now we have to go to other the second so we'll just be going just through two of the companies so that this video will not be unnecessarily long so let's go and check other before remember we check a layer here so this one is other what you have to do is just to when you click on it other is just like an ai specialist if you're a consultant if you're a data analyst yeah this job is just for you so have to scroll down okay scroll down scroll down the same way we did career page and yeah view their job they already have uh, for customer experience they have 15 jobs under customer experience okay if you are a customer success manager is a remotely job in vancouver canada professional service consultant in remote canada they have a solution consultant yeah they have a technical technical program manager solutions remotely they also have in finance sales and compensation operation analysis all these data analysis can be able to do that it's also in canada is a remotely job guys this is a kind of job if you if you get it can be working from home and this is a big good job this is a big company see guys if you are in data analyst you know these are the people that make money around the world please do not sleep on this okay do where to check all these website and see each of them the one you think you can be able to do or the one your noc falls in okay yeah guys this will be the end of this video if you found this video helpful please do where to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your post notification and share this video to your family member your friends that you think this video might be helpful okay and don't forget to comment and tell me your thoughts about this video in the comment section okay so remember after you cut your job offer from your employer your employer will give you an employer number and you receive your employment exempt letter lma exempt letter in that way your application will be very very faster you don't need lma job you don't need to pay for anything and trust me this job you can be able to do it on your own you don't need an agent yeah Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.